Hi there. This is Alf from GamingGeek.net, and well, you're, you've seen the title. We are playing The Matrix Path of Neo on the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro. Um, this is the PlayStation version. I'm not sure if it was ever released elsewhere. Um, is this on GameCube? I'm not sure. But yeah. And this is the NTSCU version, so the US version. And we're using Ether SX2 to play this game. Version 1.4 something. The exact version number will be in the video description. And yeah, this is... Um, I'm not sure how popular uh, the Matrix is, uh, the Matrix franchise is, um, but it's it's the first movie was really good, right? And uh, you can say what you want about the first and second, uh, the second and third films, and the uh, forgettable fourth film, right? But the first film was just really so good that um, even if you watch it today, I think it's gonna still gonna be good. Right, and so, which is why I think uh, this game still has plenty of fans. This is based on the first game. And I tried this before on the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus a long, long time ago. And hmm, let me just. Controller options. Target lock. Hold. Toggle. Yeah, I want toggle. Um, hmm. I think for now I'm good there. Do we have... It's weird how the volume of this game is a little soft. Subtitles on. Yep, I, I want that. Alright, we'll, we'll save the settings. Um, so on the Retro Pocket 3 Plus, I tested this and I thought I got it to run well. But then I got to a certain point in the game that didn't run well. Uh, which is why I really strongly believe that um, these tests should be done. Um, if Before you say a game's going to run well, you need to see a lot of that game, right? Before you make your conclusion. So, uh, I'll show you that exact uh, uh, part of the game that slows down and you'll see what I mean. But... Uh, let's take take a look at the settings. I already showed you uh, what my performance profiles are. So uh, always on high performance for PS2 and uh, smart uh, for uh, fan. I tried to swipe my um, uh, device I'm using to record this on. And then uh, we're going to take a look at Ether SX2. So um, just to guide you on how to, to set it, just go to general, press on set optimal settings. And go into system, change EE cycle skip to maximum underclock, right? Maximum underclock. You'll see why later. Um, this is funny. Graphics change GPU renderer to Vulkan and um, upscale multiplier to 1.5. Hardware download mode, I left it at accurate. Uh, and then credit presentation has to be checked. Audio, oh, Gaussian for synchronization, uh, for interpolation and time stretch for synchronization. That's weird. I thought I set that up earlier. All right, then we'll start. And I'm, it's still weird. Oh, I already have a save file there. New game. I'll overwrite it. Yeah. So where was I? Um, you know what? Let's just, you know. Just watch me play this. So you have the metrics at the upper right. Uh, anytime it's white, it means it's 100% game speed. Um, lower green is a little worse, but still good. And red is not good, right? Whenever it turns red, if it turns red long enough, it's going to be a noticeable lag or a slowdown. There, you turned red earlier. It was quick, so that's you can ignore that. Alright, going back to the Matrix. Uh, <laughs> Path of Neo. Man, uh, the... We won't get anywhere significant in this episode. The, the first 
scenarios are just too freaking long. So. It's fine. I'll just show you guys. If I change this to open Gia, Morpheus disappears. Morpheus isn't there. Well, I was confused, right? Because they always say, right, um, for the Retro Pocket 4 Pro, start with open GL. Open GL has no uh, graphical issues. But yeah. <laughs> If you do open GL for this game, you're not gonna see Morpheus, and who knows what else you're not gonna see, right? In in the game, so we change it back to Vulcan, and now we see the red pill and the blue pill. You can imagine. The choice is yours. Uh, I was I started this on open GL, and I was so very confused. Like, oh, what am I supposed to choose? I'm looking at an empty couch. Have you ever had a dream? You were so sure. All right. Yeah, the, just playing this game made me want to rewatch the first Matrix film. I want to see if it really holds up. I think it's going to. Yeah, and I was so confused when I uh, first tested this game. I didn't even understand what was going on in the sequence, right? So there's going to be a fight sequence here. And here you're going to see why it's on maximum underclock so you're gonna start seeing the f yeah there you go it's red and then it'll be a uh, hundred right um but there will be some frame skipping uh in this uh sequence oh i forgot there see it's frame skipping Look. Just consider it like a matrix effect. It's very inconsistent. And right now I'm in 15 frames per second. Moves up to 30 frames. All right. So the important thing is. It's, it's still 100% game speed. Who can I attack? Hold R2 to draw firearms. Release R2. Fire R1. Oh, that's going to be terrible. Oh, shoot. I hate I hate games that ask you to use two shoulder buttons at once. Um, I'm going to have to change. I thought I can uh, take it, but... Uh, target lock. Toggle. I said toggle. Wow. Okay. No way to change it, I guess. Alright, that's bullet time. Oof. Alright, do we have any weapons? I thought we had a weapon earlier. There's the Kung Fu or Martial Arts that this uh, franchise was famous for. Oh. Alright, where's your gun? Yeah, it's super hard. I'm gonna have to like change the way I hold the device just to do R R two and uh, R one. Oh man! I 
how do we call this section? Uh, hotel lobby. I think I fixed it. Oh yeah, good, it's toggle now. It worked. What? How do we get through the guys through the police shield? Okay, so I was uh, good enough to use master or normal, but we're gonna do easy, right? Let's not make things hard for ourselves. All right, I like I like that the toggle function works. Now this is something I don't like in this game. The the cutscenes are a jumble of scenes from the movie. Uh, it's hard to make real sense of them, so it does remind me of um, the events, but it doesn't really set the game up well, like this one, right? It's really just scenes from the movie jumbled together. Yeah, but we'll have, have it play out. Cubicle from across from me. Hide against the cubicle. You know, see, some sometimes it's gonna be run as low as fifteen frames per second. So let's go look a little go choppy. I think here, if you don't mind um, changing settings every now and then, you can set this to mild underclock and it's going to play well. Um, I set it to maximum to prepare for a later section. Thought you could peek. All right. 
just hurry up. Let's try again. Yeah, that's. All right, now we can skip that. Do exactly as I say. The cubicle across from you is empty. All right. Hide against the cube wall. So we'll change this to a mild underclock, right? And there, see it improves. This this sequence is actually not bad. Move into the empty cubicle across from you. Good. Wait here. Well, I'll just sidle up the side of the cubicle. We might we we can try uh, look settling for a mild or moderate underclock until we really need to set it to maximum. I think it's too bright, so let me adjust. Well, R doesn't work. See, look, it's taken us like 20 minutes and Neo hasn't, you know, gotten anywhere significant, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm not trashing this game. I'm just stating fact. Like, in an hour, I'm not sure how far we're going to get. All right, look, remember those kinds of phones? I had one, one of uh, those phones. Oh no, 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 we're not, no, no, no. 
Oh, Neo. Oh, yeah. Right, although it is uh, fascinating to like um, see Neo while well, he's still not, you know, his powerful self. Oh, wow. Seriously? Did we just die? Crap. Shucks. Don't, don't, don't tell me I have to do that all over again. Okay, good. At least, uh, not from the beginning, right? That's, uh, I was on the wrong, like, um, yeah, I know what, what the problem was. All right. There you go. I wish there was like a PlayStation 2 game of speed that would complete like a trilogy of um, Keanu Reeves uh, PlayStation 2 games because there's a, a game based on Constantine. That's also pretty pretty good. Uh, that's very playable on the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus. So I doubt I I'm, I have no doubt it's gonna run well on the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro. You're gonna burn, Anderson. Hey, what's going on here? Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, that's good. All right, see, almost 30 minutes and we're not even out of the building yet. The policemen faces are all, all the same. All right, this is another tough section. It's easy to get lost 
uh, in the next section. I, I hope I don't get lost. All right. Give it up, Anderson. You're only making. Oh no! The hell! You're going down. Get him down. Ugh. Yeah, with no map. And then L2 is <laughs> you, your way of us opening doors. It's really tricky. Oh no. Why, why do I keep standing up? How do I like not, not crouch? All right. Oh man. Oh no. Yeah, I will say that it is a little tense. Oh, man. All right, we can do this. Yeah, look at that police guy. We've seen that. He's seen, he's seen him on the roof. So not all policemen look the same, but that face has been reused several times. Oh no. All right, you have to do this uh, sequence correctly. Don't move, Mr. Anderson. Freeze! Please freeze! Yeah, I think we're in the clear. Hmm. Yeah. Trinity, nick of time, see? The, the half an hour just for that sequence. Oof, all right. Yeah, and if, if you're testing this game and you only played that sequence, then you wouldn't have seen the problem that you'll see uh, on the next level, so... Interpreted by your brain. Whoa. Welcome. 
Yes, he did the the cutscenes are just like a jumble of uh, scenes. Doesn't make sense. All right. Now the sequence that requires maximum underclock. Okay. I'm not going to change the underclock settings until we hit that part. So far, so good, right? My friend, you are a natural. Mild underclock still working, right? Oh, I almost forgot. I'll be monitoring your health level. If you get hit, you can recover some of your health by avoiding additional damage. Take too much damage, and I'm pulling the plug. Yeah, imagine if I stopped here. I'll download new skills as you progress. Keep practicing silent takedowns for now. There, see? See the red? Alright, see this sequence? So let's uh, shift it to moderate underclock, right? Well, right now it's running well, so let's shift it to moderate underclock, see if that works. Because I, I went to maximum underclock immediately. <laughs> It's weird how uh, Neo's always like looking to the upper right or something. Oh, what's that? Are you gonna see that? That's weird. Alright, let's see if moderate underclock is gonna uh, see us through, right? Um, why did I skip to a maximum underclock anyway? I forgot, but let's see. Oh, there you go. Ooh, roll. It's 
where was I supposed to go? Control room. Oh, there you go. All right, let's just see. If you can sneak into that control booth without triggering an alarm, I'll place a bonus weapon in the next area. Yeah, I think it's because of the the scene transition. I. Oh no! Look at that! Look at this! So you think? Um... These soldiers stun you. They'll go for a throw. So watch your back. What happened? Weird. I don't understand, I mean... I guess I struck the... the console earlier. I'll just do the stealth thing now. I think moderate underclock works well. Let's see if it holds up to the next sequence. Final test is loaded. You'll find it up one floor level. Use the ladder to get there. Oh man. You might want to look you leave, I hate this part. I'm hoping there's going to be some health items before the next part. Come on, man. No. Next part might be tricky. Come on, health item. No. Oh well, I think we we healed up anyway, so. Okay, Neil. Ready for the big finale? So there are slowdowns in their transitions. Oh, look at that. See. What have you got? Huh? Let's see if um. What? If when we go inside, moderate underclock's gonna, you know, give us good performance. I'm almost tempted to put this on the uh, async mix. Yeah.
All right, so far so good. It's just that you know when when the phone is loaded in, the the game stuff now. Oh, now here's uh, there's definitely uh frame rate dip there. It's pretty strange how I still find games that um, don't play great uh, on the record pocket for for pro, right? Uh, despite the reputation. All right, I think we're gonna face the boss. Yeah, there you go. Where are you? Alright, oh, I think we finished it. Finished it, right? So yeah, moderate underclock kind of works, but if you put it on maximum, you're gonna see fewer slowdowns. At the cost of it being at um, 15 frames per second for a uh, longer amount of time. Right, so I'll leave it up to you guys. But yeah, and again, you, you won't see this part unless you play for more than 30 minutes. Alright. Okay, so there are upgrades, but we can't access them. Let's not, you know, bother. <laughs> yeah, and then here's another sequence that's like a weird. I remember I ended my uh, last test of uh, Path of Neo on this sequence because I really don't didn't know what to do. The, the pause effect is nice. All right, use uh, square and uh, L to dodge attacks. All right, so now we have a sword, and yeah, this is a demanding area. Where are we supposed to go? 
Oh, there's our enemy. All right, four hit strike combo. Where is he? It isn't this simple. No, so it's not there. What's going on? Man, this sequence is a drag. Trinity. Where is he? Oh. I wonder why he's getting dizzy.
I really hate this sequence. We're at moderate underclock. Let me see what we can do. Such a mild underclock. Yeah, I think it's uh, mod mild underclock. It's um, gonna be have a better frame rate. Very annoying. Yeah, I don't like games like this where you have to change um, underclocks in the middle, right? Alright, so we defeated him, but you're right. But watch what happens. Thanks for the practice. Don't mention it. Keep your blades sharp. Yeah, where are we going, uh, Trinity? Oh, that's that's it. I I remember there we there was a sequence. Hmm. That's weird. All right back to the upgrade, and we have a new upgrade for hit combo. I don't think we have. I don't think we have a choice with these combos. I mean, with these upgrades. All right, let's just move to the next. I'm not sure how much time I'll spend on the next sequence. I remember hating this next sequence. It is a weird sequence, but it, it does play well on Mild Underclock, so I guess we'll, we'll bear with it. Weird. Oop. Jump right into the... Shoot. Jump right into the hazard. I don't know why it happens, but... My thro throat is itchy again. 
very annoying it happens every time I'm recording I'm almost dead. Well, you jump. Oh, no. All right, I'm dead. Oh no, reload level. If you imagine, um, I lost my life to the hazards. Right, so we're gonna skip that. Oh no, you forgot the sword. You forgot the sword, man. Wait, where's the sword? All right, don't forget your sword, man. What? Same path. Let's not do any more of that. Running across the wall, shit. Weird, look at that. Why do I have damage already? What's been going on? Man, I have damage already. I'm still too bright too, so let's adjust the lighting. Let's see if I survive this. What the hell? How did you guys all have free reign? Alright, so we survived, but... Give me some health. Seriously, no health. Ouch. I even damaged myself. That's stupid. Alright, whatever, but let's... That's so freaking annoying. What? Alright, so I loaded from a previous um, state so that you don't have to see me repeat the... the level from the beginning, right? Alright, we've already heard you once. Let's get that, that health.
Mouse? Why are you blaming mouse? Some mouse is our friend. Alright, new special ability. Killing blow. Hold L1 and circle. It's weird, right? How some sequences perform well and others don't. So... I'll say where. this yeah, some slow down let's see all right let's see how the the device holds up I've been running into games that are uh, a little let's all oh, attack come on I don't even know how to block. Do you see that? We lost our sword for a moment. Where are the other enemies? Come on. Where are you guys? Where am I supposed to go? Okay. Any any other bosses or what? The hell? Yeah, so it's weird, right? These additional scenarios. That's for training and it's supposed to flesh flesh it the uh, game out, but I don't understand. Like ugh, why choose this scenario? Like why Japanese swordsmen? I don't understand why Neo gets dizzy like that. Oops. But yeah, um, the Matrix Path of Neo. I mean, it, it is playable on the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro, but it's a strange game because, like right now, it works well with Mild Underclock. Uh, the first sequence where Neo has to escape his uh, office building. 
also works well on Miles Underclock. But then you have those uh, sequences where you have to go as far as a moderate underclock. Like the Kung Fu training sequence. That's weird. So um, I don't think there's like a, a set of settings that will uh, really make this game, you know, run well the entire time. You're gonna have to like um, keep switching settings depending on um, what part of the game you are. But I think it's uh, not too bad because uh, all you have to switch really are the uh, cycle rate uh, underclocking. Yeah, and sorry, it's just, I don't know why, but um, all of a sudden my throat got a little bit itchy. Oof. That's a nice finish. Excellent sword, my Neo. With a focused mind, nothing can stand between you and the path you choose. Let's load up the time trial. Yeah, the, the path of Neo, right? The path I chose. Okay, well, yeah. Um, so, uh, I'm going to recap the settings that I chose because uh, we had to change them. I was wrong at the start. Um, um, I mean, go to optimal, then system settings. Uh, mild uh, E cycle skip. Start with mild underclock, and then just change to moderate as needed. I put maximum underclock at the start of the video because I didn't want to see those reds. But um, we had to settle for like fifteen uh, FPS for sequences that didn't need it. So. Uh, let's, let's get rid of that. Uh, but nothing else changes. GB renderer is Vulcan. Upscale multiplier is 1.5x. Uh, hardware download mode is accurate. Oh yeah. Um, you have to make sure thread presentation is checked. Audio Gaussian for interpolation. And async mix for synchronization. We changed that in the middle of the settings. And what did we uh, get? Oh, here, killing blow, so they're not in sequence. Well, yeah, again, thank you for uh, checking this video out. Once again, this is Al from the GamingGeek.net. Talk to you in the next video. I remember this effect. It was uh, in, the, in the original movie where, you know, survival battle, within five minutes. I already... Which five minutes? Wow, five minutes isn't. Defeat an enemy, get points. Achieve the goal score within the time limit, and you win. The more advanced your technique, the more points I'll give you for each enemy defeat. Man, maybe this would have been nice to to play, but I already closed. It. You know what? I already closed it, but there's a bonus for you guys. Five minutes. Survival mode. Oh, reminds me of. Uh, that sequence in Kill Bill. Fight. Ooh. Come on. Come on. All right. You get bonus points for each wave defeated. Think you can get the record? I don't know. Oh no. The waves are so few.
put a zap and we're going to use the knife like a melee weapon. Other than knife, the axe I mean. Alright, so we broke the uh, Morpheus robot. There's an enemy? Where is that enemy? Where are you, enemy? Alright, that was unfair. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh. Uh, hello, I want to look before you leave, Neil. All right. I was kicking, I wasn't leaping. Ouch. Oh, man. Two more minutes, right? What they're doing, Neil? Not really. And you still have one minute to go. And here we go again with the door, door, uh, doorway move. All right, one more, one more minute, I think. Alright, 46 seconds. Almost done. Thirty-three seconds. Come on, Leo. Survive. Let's get that. Where are they? Are they upstairs? What? Oh, here you are. I wonder what I got. Because my life's uh, all maxed out again. Alright, two seconds, one second, killing blow. There you go. Definitely ending this episode now. So, yeah, again, hope you enjoyed this episode. Once again, this is Al from GamingGeek.net. Talk to you in the next video.